Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will tackle about the last two sequence and series. And we'll be calling that as Harmonic Sequence and Fibonacci Sequence. Last time, we were able to discuss the first two series and sequences, and that would be arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. For arithmetic sequence, we have a common difference, and for geometric sequence, we have what we call as the common ratio. For today, let us learn if those process will still be applied to harmonic sequence and Fibonacci sequence. So let's start with harmonic sequence so what is a harmonic sequence so when do we say that a given sequence or set of numbers will be called as harmonic sequence so when we say harmonic sequence a sequence whose reciprocals form an arithmetic sequence is called a harmonic sequence again if the given set of numbers and you get their reciprocals and it forms an arithmetic sequence therefore it's called harmonic sequence so what is the general rule or the general formula for harmonic sequence okay for harmonic sequence this is the general rule we are given a n is equal to 1 over a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d remember that the denominator is just the formula or the general rule for arithmetic sequence again this is for arithmetic sequence therefore this is one over and it is the reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence okay so let's have an example so that we would visualize or illustrate the given sequence or the set of numbers if it is harmonic or other types of sequence and series so we are given here, determine if the given is a harmonic sequence. We are given 1 fourth, 1 over 7, 1 over 10, 1 over 13, 1 over 16. So all we have to do first is to gather all the denominators. So let's all get the denominators. And then let's get the reciprocal of all the given so that this becomes 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. The next step that we need to do is to know if there is a common difference. If there is a common difference and it follows the sequence of an arithmetic sequence, therefore we could say that this is a harmonic sequence. So let us try to get the common difference. So how do we get the common difference? By subtracting the second term from the first term. Okay, this is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. This is 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. This is 13. 13 minus 10 is 3. This is 16. 16 minus 13 is 3. Therefore, there is a common number being added or subtracted to each term to get the next term. And what do we call to this one? Very good. We call that common denominator. And in this case, if this is the common denominator, we could finally say that it takes the form of arithmetic sequence and if takes the form of arithmetic sequence and we have here 1 fourth 1 over 7 1 over 10 1 over 13 and 1 over 16 we could finally say that yes it is really a harmonic sequence why because it is the reciprocal of arithmetic sequence okay so i hope that this is clear so let's have another example for the next example, we are given 1 over 5, 1 over 10, 1 over 15, and 1 over 20. So let us now determine or let's find out if the given sequence is a harmonic sequence. Step 1 is to get its reciprocal. Okay, so let's write the reciprocals. It becomes 5, 10, 15, 20. In this case, the next step would be what? To get the very good. The common, the, the common difference, okay? So for the common difference, that would be 10 minus 5, we have 5. 15 minus 10, that is also 5. 20 minus 15, that is also 5. Therefore, we now have the common difference. And what is the common difference? 
Yes, that is 5. Therefore, if there is a common difference, we'll now be able to say that it takes the form of arithmetic sequence. And if, and if the reciprocals take the form of arithmetic sequence, therefore, we could say that this is what? Very good. We could, we could say that this is harmonic sequence. Okay, and for the last illustration, for the last example regarding harmonic sequence, we are given 1 third, 1 over 6, 1 over 7, 1 over 10. So let us try to find out if the given sequence is a harmonic sequence. Step 1 again is to get its reciprocal. Okay, and what will be the reciprocals? The reciprocals would be 3, 6, 7, 10. Next step now is to what? To get its, very good, to get its common difference. Okay, 6 minus 3, 3. 7 minus 6, 1. 10 minus 7, 3. Okay, I will now ask you, do we have the same number? Very good, we don't have the same number. Therefore, it doesn't take a form of arithmetic sequence and we could say that this is not a harmonic sequence is this clear if the reciprocals of the sequence will not anymore be taking the form of arithmetic sequence we could not say that this is a harmonic sequence and that's all for harmonic sequence let's move on for the next type of sequence and that is our last type of sequence and we call that as Fibonacci sequence so what is a Fibonacci sequence so in Fibonacci sequence since we are given set of numbers the next term after the first two terms is obtained by adding the two preceding terms okay so if we are given terms if we are given first two terms we will add that to get the third term okay for example I am given five and then I am given 6. Therefore, in order to get the third term, all we have to do is to add the first two terms. And that is 5 plus 6. Therefore, we are given 11. And how do we get the fourth term? And in order for us to get the fourth term, all we have to do is to add the second and the third term. Therefore, we'll be having 6 and 11. And what is 6 plus 11? 17. Therefore, the fourth term is 17. And that is the process of getting the next term if we are given a Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so what is now the general rule for Fibonacci sequence? So this is the general rule for Fibonacci sequence. The n term of a Fibonacci sequence can be obtained by the formula a n is equal to a, a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 for n is greater than 2. Remember that for this one, n should be greater than 2. Okay, so let's now have an illustration or different examples so that we could apply what we have learned from Fibonacci sequence. Again, for Fibonacci sequence, in order for us to get the next term, we need to add the first two terms. Is that clear? Very good. Okay, so let's now have here the example. We are given 3, 8, 11, 19. So, let us first check if this is, this takes the form of a Fibonacci sequence. By what? By simply checking. Okay. 3 plus 8 is 11. Very good. 8 plus 11, that is 19. Very good. Therefore, it now takes the form of Fibonacci sequence. So, how do we get the next terms? Okay. By just merely adding is that clear okay 11 plus 19 will give us an answer of very good that is 30 and for the next term after 30 that is 19 plus 30 and 19 plus 30 will give us an answer of 49 and that is how we solve for the next terms if we are given fibonacci sequence let's have another example for another example what if we're given a negative number Will the process be applied to the sequence? Okay, so let us 
first try to check if it takes the form of a Fibonacci sequence. So that we are given negative 5, 3, negative 2, 1. Okay. So let's add first the two terms, the first two terms. That is negative 5 plus 3. Therefore, what is negative 5 plus 3? Very good. That is negative 2. Positive 3 plus negative 2, it gives us an answer of positive 1. Very good. Okay. So, how do we get now the next terms? Okay. Let's now add negative 2 and 1. So, negative 2 plus 1, it gives us an answer of yes. That is negative 1. Okay. And for the next term, after negative 1, that should be 1 minus 1. And what is 1 minus 1? 0. Therefore, that is 0. And it now takes the form of a Fibonacci sequence. Is this clear? Very good. Okay, and for the last example, we are given 10, 15, 25, 40. So let us try first checking if it takes the form of a Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so we are given 10 and 15. 10 plus 15 is 25. 15 plus 25 is 40. Therefore, the first four terms take the form of Fibonacci sequence. Let's now get the remaining terms. Okay, so we are given 25 plus 40. What is 25 plus 40? That is 65. So we're, we now have 40 and 65. Therefore, the next term would be yes, that is 105. And for the next term, would be 65 plus 105, that becomes 170. And these are the next three terms after 40. And it now takes the form of a Fibonacci sequence. So, that is how we solve for the next terms of Fibonacci sequence. But before I end my discussion, I would like to tell you something about Fibonacci sequence and its application. Fibonacci sequences are usually applied to our golden ratio. Okay, so I know that you are familiar with, with golden ratio, but I have here a trivia about Fibonacci sequence. Because did you know that Fibonacci day is November 23? Why? There is a reason behind why the Fibonacci Day is celebrated every 23rd of November. Okay, so what is the reason? Okay, so there is a mathematical reason why the Fibonacci Day is every November 23rd. Okay, so the reason behind about this trivia is that we are given a Fibonacci sequence. And the first four numbers of the Fibonacci sequence would be 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. And we could say that this is 1123. And what is 1123? That is November 23. Therefore, we are celebrating Fibonacci Day every 23rd of November. And since it is fast approaching, I would like to greet everyone. Happy Fibonacci Day! Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.